Hello everybody on the beautiful website of YouTube, this is your Uncle Google coming here and today I'm bringing you my review of one of my favorite comic book movies and that movie is Hellboy. Hellboy is a movie directed and written by Guillermo del Toro released in 2004 where we follow the character of Red aka Hellboy who was found during the Second World War and yeah, let's just say that he has a kind of striking appearance to say the least. He's basically a red demon with horns and a big tail and also a big doom fist. Uh, and yeah, we are now following him right now as he's played as by Ron Perlman and he is the part of an, uh, of an organization called Bureau of Paranormal Investigation led by the FBI, who's basically is a group of creatures, you can say who hunted down other monsters, demons and evildoers around the globe. So, why is Hellboy one of my favorite comic book movies? What is it with this movie that strikes me as just pure Hollywood entertainment at its finest? Because Hellboy isn't really a deep movie per se, it is not... It doesn't have the depth of comic book movies like Logan, or the Dark Knight Trilogy, or V for Vendetta, or movies like them. It isn't as dramatic, and it isn't as much as an emotional ride in that sense, but it is just a blast of fun. It is a jolly ride to say the least, and I have watched these movies countless times, and I'm really not getting tired of it. One thing that we just had to get out strictly up the way is that the cast for this movie is basically perfect in my opinion. Ron Perlman nails uh, Hellboy in my opinion. Yes, I know some people say, well, do you know about the original Hellboy? No, I haven't read the comic book, so I don't really know per se what, how that character, you know, in the comics is, is how he's supposed to work there. But what I love about what Perlman brings to the character is that we have this arrogant, ironic and sarcastic character who fools around very much and doesn't really give a crap, he really has that I don't give a fuck attitude. But at the same time you f see the vulnerabilities there, he definitely has the dramatic side to him. Uh, and he's just a lot of fun, he is, and it, he has just a cool appearance. I mean, I think no one can deny that he looks badass. He's, he's basically a big red demon with a doom fist and a revolver. He just has that iconic look to him. Then we also have Abe Sapien, who is played by Doc Jones, who also can find in another Del Toro movie, Pan's Labyrinth, a freaking masterpiece that everybody should watch. And he, he just, he's just great. I mean, Abe Sapien is that smart dude of the gang, you can say. And yeah, he is kind of a typical character. You've seen him in most, in most films. But you know, he's there and he serves his purpose well. He is entertaining, and I think he definitely, and the movie would probably be lesser without him. And of course, we have John Hurt, who is the father figure, who is kind of the leader uh, of uh, the bureau, who is the one who found Hellboy. And I mean, it's John Hurt. It's John Hurt. Rest in peace, John Hurt. You were a fantastic actor. And even though he doesn't have to do as much, it's, it's not as a gravita performance compared to other things he's done in his career. It's a good performance. And then we also have Selma Blair playing Liz, who's kind of like the female of the group and the love interest of Hellboy. And she's a very interesting character. She has this very calmed down kind of emo-like attitude and characteristics, I believe people would say, but I like that with her. I think that she's very, you know, down to earth, and she's a little bit depressing, but she also plays it off in a, a good way, I believe. One thing you gotta praise is that you definitely see that Del Toro loves this. He has the passion and he has the creativity for this project, no doubt about it. He definitely shows that this movie isn't as dark, it isn't as serious, and it's definitely a fantasy film also by heart. I mean, we are going back, I mean, Hellboy is fighting n occult Nazis in uh, the 2000s, uh, uh, which we have a Nazi in this uh, movie who is basically like a blade-spinning invincible mummy kind of thing because he doesn't have any blood, he's just dust in his veins and such. You know, it's just those cool over-the-top comic book movie villains and bringing all of this fantasy element to it, you know, and I I really like it. It also has kind of a gothic steampunk attitude to it a little bit, I believe, uh, with the technology technology and some of the weaponry, and just some of the looks of the creatures and all that, and I like that stuff very much. And I also think one thing you gotta give this movie is that it is a very good pot. It's an even balance, mood-wise, I wrote down, because I feel like, yes, this movie is not overly dramatic, it's not dark and serious, but 
it has its dramatic scenes, it has the dramatic moments where the characters are just there in the scene and it's about the characters, it's not about, you know, a bigger picture, it's more about the character struggles and I think Del Toro and the actors in this movie nails those scenes very much and when the, when the, you know, the humor comes in, I think the humor is very really good, it stems off for character interactions, it's not just some silly one-liners all the time, but it's very much relatable to the characters, and the action is, I mean, it's Gil, Gil, Tormo, Gil <coughs> Del Toro action, Guillermo Del Toro action, you know, it's, it's just a bunch of fun to look at, and it's Hellboy beating the crap out of, you know, some hell dogs, Samaels, it's a lot of fun, to say the least. And I also will say that there is a relationship kind of going on between Liz and Hellboy in this movie that grows in a very different manner. Because we start up at the kind of wrong foot, so to say, by the way that Liz and Hellboy has basically kind of been on and off throughout, you know, their entirety of uh, their life, you can say. And uh, Hellboy is kind of trying to get in touch again with Liz because, you know, he really cares for her. But Liz doesn't really know if she wants to be with Hellboy in that way. And that strikes a very interesting dynamic. Instead of just having this standard of like, oh, they're just uh, working together and then they fall for each other and blah, now they're a couple. Instead, it's a little bit more, you know, down to earth and uh, a little bit more complex, you could say. Some things you gotta give, give strikes for Hellboy, you know, some negative things about this movie. The effects, the CGI effects are a little bit dated, I don't think you can outlook that. Uh, which is sad, because the thing we're gonna get into when it comes to Hellboy 2, when I review that movie, is that those effects are way more practical and not dated at all, while I feel like this movie was a little bit more reliable on the CGI, and it shows sadly it shows it's not super distracting but there are some scenes that get a little bit you're like yeah that's 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 cgi and that's cgi from 2004 like yeah it's visible and yeah that's that's a little bit shame but otherwise i think this is just a great movie another thing i guess i need to mention is that no it is not as just this run of the mill origin story either you do have like the first five ten minutes very shortly you know, introducing Hellboy back in the day when they found him, but then it cuts to, you know, normal day, you know, the 2000s, and we're on with our adventure, or, you know, stopping the occult Nazis from taking over the world, kind of, you know, you know, uh, resurrecting demons to take over the world and kill stuff and such. Which means that, yeah, it is not going to bore you with the 30, 40 minutes of just building up to, you know, him becoming the hero, he's already there, so to say. Del Toro's visual style and direction, Perlman's narcissistic, charming and fragile portrayal, and the occult Nazi themes are just some of the elements that makes this such a great and fantastical superhero tale. In the end, I'm gonna give Hellboy a 9 out of 10. For me, this is just one of those go-to movies. If I just want to watch a movie that I know that I enjoy, that it's a lot of fun, it's not going to drain me emotionally, but it's also going to bring more than just dumb, stupid action that I'm going to get tired of and, and that there are, you know, things in between. This is a perfect movie for me in that kind of, in, in those cases. Yes, it's not a perfect movie all around, but for being a comic book movie, this is definitely one of the better ones I've seen. Like I said, it is one of my favorite comic book movies because... It's a pot, it's an even balance between all the things you should have in a movie, especially in a comic book movie. And first and foremost, it's just a bunch of fun. And then it got a sequel, and let me tell you, the sequel gets even better. If you enjoyed this video, of course, leave a like. If you didn't like the video, well, then leave a dislike then, I suppose. And subscribe to me if you want more of my content. And if you have any suggestions of a movie I should review or any other topic, let me know, let me know, and otherwise, I've been your Uncle Guga, thanks, and bye-bye.